Hi, in this eBase XI video tutorial I'm going to show you how to consume a web service. In one of the previous videos, a tour of the integration server, I demonstrated how to create and publish a web service using the eBase XI integration server. I'm going to pick up where this video left off, which was the generation of the WSDL, a web service definition language file, following the publication of a web service. This will give us a fully functional web service to call. So I'll start by accessing the web service section of the integration server and then here I will generate the required WSDL. We need this to consume the web service. The WSDL could be given to any external system that needed to call our application but for this tutorial we'll be using it internally to create a new web service resource. So let's go and create a new web service resource. We'll access the file menu options and create a new external resource connection. We'll call this one demo underscore ws. We now need to go and import the web service structure and definitions from the WSDL we generated. We click the import WSDL button, paste in the WSDL URL and click next. We then need to select which method we want to talk to. Our example only has one so we select it and click next. If we now click finish we can see that XI has imported and created everything we need for our web service resource. In the center panel we can see the web service request and response objects and in the bottom left we can see that XI has created a number of fields which we can map to our web application. This is how data will be passed from the form to the web service. With all this in place we now need to add this new web service resource to our application's business view so it knows how to talk to the new resource. If we access the form's properties, open the business view, we can add the new resource. To create the data mappings from our form to our web service we need to carry out an import from external resource operation. If we open up the fields panel and click the icon to import from an external resource, we can see a list of all the resources our application has access to. We select the new web service resource, select all the fields and click import. XI now knows how to send data from the form to the resource and vice versa. The final step is to apply the required business logic to the button that will invoke the call to the web service. To do this we'll create a new script. The only piece of business logic we need is a simple command call and the name of the resource demo underscore ws. With this simple piece of logic in place XI will be able to call the web service, pass data from the form to the web service request object and also receive data back in the response object. Of course in a real world example we might want to carry out some validation of the form fields to check the user has completed them and then to be able to issue a message after the web service call has been made to inform the user of the outcome. So here is the finished business logic. The key section is still the simple call command. We attach this script to the button and we can now go and test out the new functionality. We run the form, enter our email address and click submit. We've successfully created a web service resource connection. Thank you for your time and please visit the eBase Resource Center to discover more about what eBase XI can do for you.